So yeah. what is next for you? Is there anything on the uh, in the hopper? Immediately? Yeah. Well, there's a movie coming out uh, December with Nicolas Cage that I'm in called uh, The Old Way. It's another Western. And I'm the title role in that. I'm the old guy. So, Just um, like you're the terror on the prairie. Yeah, I'm terror on the prairie. In the, in the current film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm doing, uh, and there's a movie uh, about Ronald Reagan, uh, Reagan, where Dennis Quaid plays Reagan, and, and I play Secretary of State James Baker, and that's going to come out early next year. The joke about that is like, I've played swamp creatures before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, and, have, you, have you seen Nick Cage's movie where he plays himself? No, I've been dying to see it. Uh, no, I'm going to see it. I saw it on a plane. Yeah. And I, I was, it's like one of those times where I was embarrassed because I couldn't stop laughing out loud. Yeah. It's funny. Like, he, there, there are scenes where he talks. You saw it, Mike? I saw it on where a plane, too. To, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. God, I just, I really laughed. He's got a wicked sense of humor. Was he fun to work with? I love the guy. Yeah, we had a yeah. great time. Um, very, very well-prepared guy. I mean, he always comes in. I mean, it was a joy to work with him. It really was. And I told him so at the end. Most, all of my scenes were with him. So, yeah, I really enjoyed meeting him. And we sort of, hey, let's work together again sometime, you know. The other thing that might be coming up is that I'm, I'm putting together a deal finally to make another feature film. I'm going to be directing again at the beginning of next year. But I can't say who's going to be in it yet because we're still negotiating. But it's, 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 going, to be a, it's going to be a step up budget-wise from Gosnell. I'll just say that. So well, not, before you say what you're going to say, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it depends. Careful, Mike. Mike. <laughs> we might get we might get around to you. Yeah. I, I just want to say before moving on, I saw Gosnell in the theaters, and um, first of all, it, you you you're a good filmmaker. But secondly, and I I know I told you this before, but I promised you I'd tell you on the podcast. You're a <laughs> really good actor. Oh well, thanks. And you were great in Gosnell as well. Um, I mean, Justified, I, I just am so in love with that series. Mm -hmm. I really am. Uh, but, uh, but Gosnell, you, you, were, you, you were just uh, terrific, and you play the, uh, the attorney for Gosnell, right? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the oh. bad guy. I'm the defense, defense attorney, yeah. And you're, you're just so good, so good. Anyway, well, sorry, Mike, what were you going to say? I forgot, but, I, <laughs> but you reminded me of something else. There's one of my favorite scenes in Justify. God, we might as well land the plane where we took off from. I think it was like it was a slow chase, Nick. Yeah, yeah. You, you, your, your, your leg was all messed up, and some guy had yes. a, like a – Oh, geez, I don't remember, but I think he had, he had an had oxygen like a, tank. Like an oxygen tank. <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man, you guys, you were chasing him, like, through an airport or something. I remember it. That was freaking funny. Yeah. Well, that, it, you know, yeah. that scene's really, that's my favorite scene in the whole series. And I think, except for the time when I'm playing Rush Limbaugh on the radio <laughs> at the stakeout. <laughs> at the stakeout. That, but um, the man who directed that, that episode was John Abnett who directed Fried Green Tomatoes and was the man who yeah. gave me my first big role. So he would always come in and do two episodes a, year, a season, and I would always say, are they calling you the man that discovered Nick Searcy yet? And John goes, <laughs> yeah, but they don't mean it as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did, John. Look what well, you John, unleashed. John directed that scene, and I remember going to John, and I, I, I said, you know, can we really elongate this and really make a thing out of it? And he goes, oh, I'm way ahead of you. So he was, oh, like, that's laying great. track, and he's like, you know, we're going we're gonna to make this thing look like, you know, the, the car chase in Bullet or something, you know. So <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> um, I was just, wasn't that also the season, though? Like, you, you would really hurt your leg in real life. I mean, from what I remember, you're like, Let's not run this season, okay? No yeah. running. <laughs> well, that was before my knee replacements. I had, I had oh. both my knees were kind of buckling to the outside. The year after Justified is when I had my first knee replaced, and then I had the other one the next year. So, yeah, I mean, I was having legit knee troubles all, all through those years. Yeah. Didn't you go to the White House or the cast go to the White House uh, for Justified? Well, isn't there a story about you no. meeting Clinton? Yes, yes. We no? went in 1998. We went with From the Earth to the Moon. Oh, for, oh sorry, mm. From the Earth to the yeah. Moon, which and also the, was great. Yeah. yeah. Tom Hanks uh, took about six of us, and they showed one episode, 1968, at the White House. 
I remember Hillary spoke and um, JFK Jr. spoke and Tom Hanks spoke. And then they showed the episode and then there was a reception. And when they flew me and my wife in, I remember taking the Washington Post out of the back of the seat in the limo and I opened it up and it was the day they found Monica Lewinsky's dress. It was the day that they made the papers. And so I turned to Leslie and I go, oh, my God, this is they're going to be in a good mood tonight. Oh, my God. So what happened? You met Bill Clinton that night? And Leslie and I were in the back, and so the reception was kind of down the hall. So we were one of the first people into where the president was, and he was there to say hello to everybody. And, you know, I was still who I was back then, So, but I had my thing. You know, I said, I'm going to say thank you very much for having me, Mr. President. It's an honor to, to be here. That's all I was going to say. So I walked to him. I said, well, I guess it's time. i got to go shake hands with the president. So I walked up, and I said, thank you for having us here, President Clinton. It's, it's a real honor. And he goes, Nick, you did a great job as Deke. You know, you mostly play bad guys, but it's good to see you playing somebody yeah, somebody good for a change. I understand you just did a movie with my, my friend Mary Steenburgen. And, you know, she's also from Arkansas. And I'm like going, he knows everything about me. <laughs> He, wow. He's a fan of mine. And, you know, and he's shaking my hand and it had the perfect <laughs> amount of pressure. And it's like I walked away from him going, there really is a right wing conspiracy. He's, I, <laughs> he's that terrific. Guy's, that guy is great. And then like about 15 minutes later, I'm like shaking my head going, oh, my God, he hypnotized me. That must be what happened. He, that's why he's president. <laughs> that's what they said about him. Every-